And welcome back to the CMA, the Collins Moylan Arena in Greenfield. Skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux here with you now. First of all, thanks so much to our friends from Bear Country for some outstanding play-by-play -play efforts tonight. And what a hockey game we got to see. Green Wave ended up skating away with a 6-2 victory, a hard-fought victory over the East Hampton Eagles before another raucous crowd here at the CMA. We're going to recap the highlights of tonight's hockey game. It was in the first period that East Hampton got on the board first. A face-off win by Tyler Galpin was pulled back to the point. Garen Fuccio, who is always a perennial scorer for East Hampton, passed the puck off to Tyler Galpin, who got a wrist shot off from the point, and it went bar down. First thing we know, it's 1-0 East Hampton. Not the way the Green Wave expected the game to start, but sometimes you have no control over those things. And that was the only goal in the first period. East Hampton skated into the locker room with a 1-0 lead after one, despite being outshot by the Green Wave 10-8. Second period got underway, and another point shot through a screen. And for his second goal of the night, Tyler Galpin again. Got the puck in through traffic, and East Hampton took the 2-0 lead. Again, this is not the game that we were expecting. I was on the bench tonight, and it was time to recalibrate, as they say. And recalibrate the Green Wave did. They would not look back on that. Gave up the two goals to East Hampton, and then Green Wave scored the next six in a row. First one of those six, Aiden Roach penetrated in front of the East Hampton net, got in close, and he was able to finish off a play from Sean O'Sullivan and Brian Bowman. Got the green wave on the board, made it two to one. A little bit later in the second period, there was a turnover at the East Hampton blue line. Shane Prusak was opportunistic, picked up the puck. He and Derek Lenoise went in on a two on one. Shane got the puck over to Lenoise, who right at the top of the paint banged it home. And suddenly we had a 2-2 hockey game. In that second period, the Green Wave outshot East Hampton 19-7. And that was really where the tables turned. So after two periods, a 2-2 tie. Third period, Green Wave came out ready to play some hockey. Early on, Brian Bowman went in unmarked. He was in the high slot. Sean O'Sullivan found him. Fed him a beautiful pass, and Brian made no mistake about it. Gave Greenfield the 3-2 lead, game-winning goal right there. And there was no looking back. About 30 seconds later, Kyle Barnes fed Brian Bowman, and Sean O'Sullivan was right there, and, and Sullivan was far down. Made it a 4-2 hockey game. As play continued in the third period, Shane Prusak broke down the right side. And he just got, you know, they say so many times, get the pucks to the net, pucks to the net. Well, Shane Prusak did exactly that. And it went underneath the East Hampton goaltender. And it was a 5-2 Greenfield lead at that point. Scoring got wrapped up tonight. There was a delayed penalty call for charging. The actual penalty was negated, although the player still serves as uh, minor. Uh, Shane Prusak again broke down the left side, and he was able to get the puck off to Kyle Barnes, who got the goal, made it 6-2. And that was all she wrote here at the Collins Boylan Arena. Big 6-2 character win for the Green Wave tonight. Now, the next two Green Wave games are going to be a couple of road games. On Wednesday night, January 8th, we're going to be out at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Rink in North Adams. Game time is 7 o'clock out there. And one week from tonight, next Saturday, Green Wave take their first road trip out to the Navin Rink out in Marlboro, Mass. to take on Assabet Valley. So check GreenWaveHockey.com for the full schedule and information. That's all from now for our entire crew for FCAT Sports. My buddy Alec Eckel, won't call him Smart Alec tonight. Our friends from Bear Country, thank you again for the play-by-play. -play. I'm the skate Dr. Lou Bordeaux saying good night from Greenfield.